All right, everybody, you have no idea how excited I am to do this video. We are going to be talking about Rube Dugan's diving bell. But before we get into that, Amy, look at this. Are we matching? We Come on, we're representing some merch. <laughs> get the merch. Get your shirts right down there in the description below. But hey, uh, there is an author by the name of Mark Cumming. He just came out with a book. It's available on Amazon right now. Rube Dugan's Diving Bell, a history and memoir of a beloved, lost Silver Dollar City attraction. Now, this is an attraction that I never got to experience. That is, that, that is the saddest thing I've ever heard. In fact, when it opened in 1977, I was only a year old, maybe less. Wow. I was a baby. And, um, and then it only went through, what, 84? It went through, I believe, yeah, 1984. So it wasn't around that long. I yeah. think 1977 to 1984. And even if I had written it, I probably wouldn't have remembered because I was just a child. So tell me about it. What What is Well, see, I have all of Dugan's diving bell. All of these memories. Let me give you some facts here. These, these are, you'll find these in the book. Uh, this was a major expansion project. It opened, uh, it's in uh, Silver Dollar City in 1977, added about 25% of more space to the park. Mm -hmm. And the focal attraction in that new area was a groundbreaking state-of-the-art simulation attraction called Rube Dugan's Diving Bell. And and so it added that whole kind of that riverfront area. And and it get, it, guess how much it cost? Um, well, let's see. Things were a lot cheaper in 1977. So I'm going to go for $1 1.2 $1. $1. $1 million. That's a very inexpensive ride edition. Yeah, yeah. And people but were... But nowadays... It Nowadays, a it's a lot more. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I did some, just a side note. Um, when I, I like the Andy Griffith show, and whenever they say something about how much something cost back then, it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to cost $100 to fix that refrigerator or whatever. Just multiply it by nine, and that's how much it costs in today's. That's just completely a side note, but related, $1.2 million. You, you have to think it cost a lot more than that today, oh, right? Yes. And so, yeah. And so... Um, so it, it increased the area of the park down there. Now, when I was a kid, I just have this is my all time favorite ride all time. Now, you got to understand I was I was a kid and you know how memories are, you know, from your childhood. Maybe I would see it today if it was still around. Let me tell you what I imagine okay. Rubigan's Diving Bell to be and you can tell me what it really is. Okay. So have you ever seen the movie Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken? Oh, I love that <laughs> movie. Just the best ever. So I Wait think a minute, it's like a traveling it. circus or something and there's this, this girl, she rides a horse and they go all the way up to the top of this tall tower mm -hmm. and they dive. She gets on the horse and they dive all the way down. Because it's called Diving Bell, that's kind of what I would imagine. But... I'm, by the look on your face, I'm guessing that's not it at all. You can't be serious, Amy. There's no diving for the diving bell? It is way more epic than that. So just imagine <laughs> Lake Silver, and as you approached the ride, you could look out in the lake, and there would be a, a submergible. Like a submarine. Submergible. Submersible? Su <laughs> uh, yep. Submergible? I think, it's sub I think it's a submarine. Well, yeah. <laughs> submersible, submergible. Which one is it? Let me know the in the submers comments below. Anyway, so it would be there. You could see submers the top half of it, and then it would go dive under the water, and it would, and, and so you would see that out on the lake. So you're like, wow, that's where we're going to be. Like 20,000 leagues under the sea kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. And so then you would get, there would be, there would be characters out there greeting you, and you'd get in line and go under this, this, um, building well i've got i've got pictures i'm going to show you guys the so pictures. is there a dive at some point well let me get to it so right here is the there's the line and you're going into this building and off to the right is the lake and that's where you would see the the, the submarine and then you would be escorted into a an area where everybody's sitting down and it's the submarine and there's a live actor in there and we're look we're, we're looking down those of you like why aren't you looking at the screen right below here is where we're seeing some pictures right well, now. well they'll you'll, be seeing photos you'll be so. seeing them on the yeah and and so, so they're dressed like prisoners is that it no oh what are they what's the red and I white i don't think stripe? you should be on this video <laughs> okay yes now I, they're, I told they're john, sailor type I, people oh, sailors like I told, like oh okay. yeah I told John when he was going to do this video, I said, you know, I know nothing about Rube Dugan's diving bell. And he said, well, that'll be a great perspective from someone who this knew it a, and loved a, it to someone who knows nothing about it. Sorry, guys. And so anyway, so what would happen is 
you know, you'd have all these people there, and on this on the screen, you would see go, going down under the water, and you'd be going after, you know, and being chased, and all this kind of stuff, and then all of a sudden, you, pipes pipes would burst, and water would st- start filling, actual water would start filling this room and splashing and spraying and all sorts of things like that. So you would get wet? A little bit, would... not too much, but but yeah, definitely. I mean, it would spray and gurgle and all of that kind of stuff. And um, I and, wonder why they got rid of this ride. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I know that, well, we do know that the Lost River of the Ozarks replaced it. Mm. So so I guess in their minds, a bit of an upgrade. And of course, we loved Lost, Lost River of the Ozarks. Okay, so what's the diving? There was, by diving, do you mean there was like a hill? Like, you know, like a drop. I think you just need to read the book. I guess. I need to read the book. It's a simulator. Yeah. And you just sit there and you dive under the water. Okay. Like divers? You know, like scuba divers? When you were looking at the screen, was it a screen of what you were really seeing in front of you? Or was it a screen like of of a TV screen, pre-recorded stuff? Do you know what a simulator is? So you were in the water <laughs> diving, okay, but not, you could have just as easily not been in the water. Yeah, you actually weren't in the water. If you want to ruin it for everybody now. You weren't? See, that does. It kind of ruins it for me. Doesn't it? I thought you were in the water the whole time. You're supposed to be. It makes you think you are. Oh, okay. Have you ever ridden a simulator? Yes, but I was thinking like 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 Soren at Disney. Yeah. Do you really think that you're over the ocean or that you're flying through orange groves or do you really think that's happening for real? No, so they just like the lake that you were looking at when you got on the ride was just for effect. Like you really weren't in it. Yeah, but me as a young kid, it was all very real to me. Okay. You're ruining my memories. Well, no, I'm just trying to get a grasp on what it was. Interesting. Super interesting. So like the simulator. best ride ever, my favorite ride ever at Silver Dollar City. And listen, we need to start a campaign. We need this ride brought back with modern technology. Well, I don't know because now they have Mystic River that Falls. It doesn't have to be in the same place. In that location, it could be a different year. place. That's true. Maybe if they could have a. Space you mentioned for it. you mentioned you wanted to take a nap right before we did this video. <laughs> Is that something? Do you wish I was taking a nap right now? I'm sorry. I hope I haven't ruined Rube's Dugan, Rube Dugan's diving bell for anybody. Okay. Now, now, let's see. Gosh, I'm, I'm all messed up now. You're, you're flustered. Let me read this to you. The diving bell simulated yeah. a plunge in a submarine into Silver Dollar City's Lake Silver in, ad, in an adventure to find a lost treasure of silver. Rube Dugan... The, the inventor of the boat that floats underwater, as they say, was was the captain and his daffy nephew, Junior Dugan, was the pilot. Okay? So Junior Dugan was the guy that you would actually see, like the actual guy. Yeah. And the captain, you'd hear his voice over speakers. Okay. Okay? It, it sounds really fun. Yep, it was. <laughs> um, let me share this quote with you from Mark Cumming, who wrote the book. He says, I felt the diamond anniversary year for Silver Dollar City was the perfect time to release the book to a general audience. It's a unique book, or it's a unique look at Rube Dugan's Diving Bell from my perspective as an insider at the attraction. I played the role of Junior Dugan from 1979 to 1984, which is super cool. And guess what? It took, took uh, him 11 years to execute his writing project. 11 years. That's amazing. Uh, he said the book has over 200, 260 pages, over 130 illustrations, and weighs over a pound. That's cool. That is a commitment to you that. Know what? He My must birthday's have really loved that ride. My birthday's coming up. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Does that sound like a birthday gift? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, cool. so well, I've always wondered about that ride because I hear a lot about it. I kind of wondered exactly what it was. Now I know. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, and, I, and like I said, I have all of these just incredible memories. And nowadays when they do simulators, I, I'm not sure this would be a question. Did they have multiple simulators there um, or was it just one? You know, we had a group of people go in and we had, they had to wait for those people to get out. And then so the how many group, people did it hold at a time? Do you know? Uh, I mean, we're looking at pictures here. I don't know. Maybe 
30, 40? I don't mm. know, something so like that. So if they only had one, that 50? could be why they replaced it with something else. Maybe the capacity. Oh, capacity wasn't. was a problem. Yeah, I'm sure. But now they need to create like four or five different identical simulators so you can fill them all at the same time. And yeah. So that would be my recommendation for when Silver Dollar City recreates, recreates Rube Dugan's it. Diving Bell. I love the, the live actor factor, though. What? Hey. <laughs> The live actor factor. Wow. So anyway, that's cool. Well, good to know. Yep. And I do believe it is time for your nap. (laughs) Safe travels, everyone.